Hello everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to download and install Distant Horizons for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up for mod. Right like so, just enter and then you'll find modern.com. Just click on modern and then you'll be on the modern home page. So from there, all you want to do is go to discover content here on the top of the website, and then you have to go down to mods. So now all you want to do is go to search mods, and then you have to go ahead and search up for distant horizons. And from there, just click distance horizons here, the name, and it will bring you to the distant horizons homepage on modern. So here, just click on the versions tab, and now we'll just go to the game version selector here, and select what Minecraft version you want to play. I'm going to choose the latest one they have here, and here you'll find that you have your version that you selected, and Fabric, Neoforge, or even Forge, we'll just use Fabric for today's tutorial, so make sure there's Fabric, and if you find this, just go ahead and click the green download button. And now that Distant Horizons is downloaded, all you want to do is just simply get yourself Fabric to use Fabric Mods, so to do this, just go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up for Fabric Minecraft. Just enter that, and then you'll find fabricmc.net, just click on fabric, and this will bring you to the fabric homepage. So from there, all you want to do is go to the blue download button, and now you want to go to the blue download for Windows button here. And you now have fabric installer. So all you want to do here is just close your web browser, and then you want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. And from there, all you want to do is go to the fabric installer here, you want to double click it, and now, all you want to do is, once you have the fabric installer, you want to make sure this Minecraft version here matches with Distant Horizons here, and just make sure it does, and if it does, click install, okay, and close. And now, all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher, and with the Minecraft launcher, you'll be able to add the Distant Horizons mod to the mods folder. So the way this works is that you first need to get yourself fabric loader, and if you have fabric loader here, it means you have mods folder, and you can access that folder by going to installations here, then you want to go ahead and go to fabric loader here, and go to the folder icon. So from there, all you want to do is go to mods, and then you want to double click mods, and now all you want to do is go to downloads, and then you want to go ahead and select and copy distant horizons, then you want to go to the top left arrow here to go back to your previous folder and click paste. And you now have distant horizons in of mods. So all you want to do here is just go to the Minecraft launcher, you want to go to play, make sure Fabric Loader is selected, and click play. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically. Okay, so once we have Minecraft here, we should see Fabric to here to make sure it is nice and active, and if it is, you want to go to a single player world, and then you want to go and create a new world or use an existing world if you want. I'll just create a new world. And from there, you'll be able to go ahead and use Distant Horizons. Now, you can always add the amount of RAM that you want if you want faster loading speeds. But the idea is the same. It's just that you're going to have a very, very long, basically, chunk loading time. And these chunks here... The reason it, it takes so long is because it's loading chunks outside of the view distance. So if you go ahead and go to escape here and options, you'll notice that we have the uh, distant horizons options. And here's a bunch of options that we can go ahead and mess with when it comes to the actual distant horizons config. So these are, for example, the chunks and everything. And 12 here is the chunks I have set for Minecraft. But as you can see, it is definitely more than 12 chunks by now. And you can notice that there is lower quality the further you go. This is what this versions do. It basically makes the quality of far away chunks lower. So you keep the FPS, like you keep good FPS, but you also have a way, way, way longer render distance. So yeah, that's how that works. You can notice over the mountain here, it's a bit lower quality, but it is very hard to see. And once everything is loaded up here, it does look amazing, you can do some amazing showcase and whatnot there. So yeah, that is how we get ourselves Distant Horizons for Minecraft Java. So yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and see you for the next one.
Bye.